With the winning coach, Xavier Clark of the NT Thunder. Uh, Xavier, crucial win this afternoon for you guys. Yeah, it was, mate. And, um, yeah, they, they got one on us at, in Alice Springs and, you know, full credit to them. We went away from that game, obviously, fairly disappointed. Um, and, you know, and last weekend as well, you know, we, we had a pretty tough battle against Sydney Uni um, at home. And, you know, we had to come in and put in a four-quarter solid performance. You know, we probably didn't predict it was going to be wet weather the whole game, but we adjusted and I thought we adjusted fairly well. And, and we kicked, you know, I think three goals, eight or something like that in the first. And, you know, if we were a bit accurate, we might have been able to get a bit more of a handy lead at, at quarter time. But, um, you know, to their credit, they kicked back, but um, we adjusted and, and hang on for the game. And when the game was up for grabs, um, you made a couple of crucial moves. Um, you know, Brendan went deep forward, then he ended up down back. Cameron Islet went in the middle. Um, you know, you seem to have that experience to be able to throw players around to really mix and match for the occasion. Yeah, we do. And, and look, we've never really been a side that want to play numbers behind the footy. You know, we always want to try and take the game on for what it is and, um, you know, play a free flowing game. But we have to be a bit smarter the way we've been playing over the last couple of weeks. And, you know, to have experienced players, and you know, I thought Richie Tamblyn won some really critical clearances um, in the third and in the last quarter as well. But, yeah, you're right, being able to be able to put Brennan deep forward, move um, Buff up the ground, who Yagmore played another great game on him, and then and then later in the game where we had to try and ice the game and put him down back. So it's good to have that luxury, but um, I thought, you know, everyone pretty much played a really vital role for us. You know, even Paddy Taban was just, you know, probably just filling gaps for us. You know, he goes forward, kicks a goal, um, has some critical touches late also. And Aaron Longren uh, playing on Blake Rua today. Yeah. It certainly nullified... Uh, his influence over the course of the game. So, you know, those, those negating tactics he used, obviously, to uh, to shut down some of their stars. Yeah, we had to. He, he's a he's a quality football player. You know, he's he's had a great season, and he hurt us last time, um, or he, pretty much every time we played them. So, you know, we we had to do something about it. So it's credit to him. He, he's a he's a um, premier on ball in the competition, and we had to stop him. So. Yeah, we gave uh, Lonas um, that job. It was his 30th birthday yesterday, so I said that was his uh, birthday present. Um, and I thought he did a good job. You know, he, he actually got a bit of the footy himself early, um, and he relished and he enjoyed it. So um, yeah, look, you know, we had to, like I said, we had to try and minimise his impact at some point. And largely, your back six, I thought, were uh, terrifically uh, influential today. Uh, certainly, Justin Bugler at the back. You know, I think he racked up something like 17 marks, but. Jack Long, I thought, really had an impact as well. And you got that uh, real uh, rebound out of defence going uh, at various times during the game. Yeah, we do. And Jack Jack balances up, us up really well. You know, we, we lose, um, you know, for, you know, sorry, Daniel Weitra at the moment, who's battling with groin soreness and issues. So we needed to find an extra tour. We got that in Daniel Russell. You know, he can play an extra tour for us deep, which allows Bugler to play a little bit higher and also Raf to play higher. Um, and then Jack Long and those guys like Benny Rioli can play, you know, that damaging um, half-back type role for us. So, you know, it's important that we have those players and we get our balance right heading sort of back into the season now. But, um, yeah, I thought, those, I thought our back six were definitely really, really good and, and controlled most of the game. And obviously the fight for second is, is yeah. a really important one. It's really tight at the top and yourself, Sydney Uni, Aspley. Um, and the Giants are certainly right in the hunt um, with Sydney Swans, you know, runaway leaders. It looks like it's going to go down to the wire. Oh, it's, oh, I think it's fantastic. Um, you know, we could end up anywhere between second and fifth, or maybe even. You know, I, I'm not sure if we can drop down to six, but yeah, you know, I, I think it's. I think it's great. It, what it does for us is that we we have to fight for everything. You know, this time of the year, and we got to we got to really put the magnifying glass on. You know, how we're playing. You know, where, where, what are the challenges? What are the um, dangers also? And, you know, and how do we train over the next... We've got four games you know, to go with, with the bye as well. So um, it's going to be really important for us this next month of footy. And, and with that ladder positioning pressure on, um, I, I, think it, I think it's a great thing to head into the back of the end of the year, even though you probably don't want to be in that position because you want to be a Swans and be comfortable. But, but we'll take it. And next week, of course, uh, the job gets no easier and it's a grand final rematch from, from uh, 2015 with Aspley. And that's going to be, a, again, that, that clu uh, crucial clash to be able to put some space on one of those, uh, those, those key combatants. Yeah, we feel like we, we, feel like we know Aspley. They're, they're, they're like our, um, 
like our stepsister, that or brother that we don't really want to talk to. We've we played we played on about twenty five times in the last three years since I've um since I've been coaching, you know, and yeah, you know, we've got a lot of respect for him. We've you know, we've had some great battles over the years, um, you know, including the grand final last year. They got a you know, they're a great group, you know, Blair's a well respected coach who um, you know, has always got something up his sleeve. Um but look we 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 look forward to that challenge next week and um yeah, look you know, hopefully you know, we're up and about and so are they and we put on a good performance and like you said, those spots in the, the top five will hopefully take shape. Well, that, that clash, of course, at TIA Stadium next week and we'll look forward to that, but we can't go past today and, and congratulations, well done on today's victory. Yeah, appreciate it. Thank you.